Howdy. I just get all my stuff set up. Hopefully the game will fit the screen. I'm not sure if it will. I forgot to say my Discord. Wow! Ah. Abby, thank you. Once again. Oh, my dad bot in my in my Discord just came at me. That was funny. Okay. All my cords are tangled. I'm just, I'm a mess, but it's okay. I'm really excited, so. <laughs> Damn it, Smokey. I am wearing my Smokey Bear shirt. Haha. <laughs> I'm excited. Go, Smokey. Heck yeah. Okay. I don't think the game is going to fit my screen right. Hmm. But we'll see. There's a hair. Hopefully the sounds are okay. Let me know if I need to adjust anything. I'll listen for it too. I might need to turn game sounds up. Dude, I got water and I am ready. I see Julia. The music. She's about your age, late 20s. Laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You are Henry. You, Henry, are drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Which one? Oh, Ethan, I swear. I'm not gonna chug this. My hair keeps getting in my mouth. That's unfortunate. I'll say you're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You're a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. <laughs> that didn't take long. Okay, I want to fix this. Can I change the aspect ratio? Graphics? Which one is it? What am I? I'm this one? Yes. Got it. Um, I'll probably f just everything in a minute. Maybe. Maybe I want to be more sensitive. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, perfect. That's what I'd assume, too. Resume. Got a backpack. Oh. I 
assume this is my book. My monitor box. I'm pretty sure this is the correct resolution. I mean, it's standard. <laughs> you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it in. Bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. <laughs> Bucket or Mayhem? I like the name Bucket, but I like the German Shepherd. Beagle. <laughs> German Shepherd. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going with the German Shepherd. <laughs> I know, Bucket is such a cute name. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. <laughs> Mayhem, F yeah. 1979. Talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Run. Just kidding. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. <laughs> is this me? Also, is the audio okay? Is the music too loud? It's a little loud in my ears. Like the game. But... Do we need to adjust anything? before we get too far. Uh, I'm saying if you and I had some, um, some couple little idiots. <laughs> One day, why rush? She looks away, out towards the mountain. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. Tell her that she has the body of an underground. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? One day. Uh, six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Wow, I feel like I barely know her. This is a little fast. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Do I have the backpack? I can't jump in this game, I don't like that. Two forks. Am I still in Colorado? Probably. I'd assume so. Boss, you killed a kid. Yeah, fair place. Amazing work, boss. This is why you're the best. What? I'm in bear country. I need to check in. Why? This isn't. This isn't realistic at all. I'm kidding. This is really nice. Oh. Mm. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Mm, I feel like ignoring hurts more. Lorax. <laughs> you don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. Poke. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like a he-man. Frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> I think that's funny. Julia was right. You are very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Spiky. Wow. 
I'd go on this hike. This would be so nice. Two forks. Look how tall. Eight more miles. There, now I can jump. Just climb over obstructions. Wow. 1882. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. I'ma beat him. This is fine. I'm okay with events that are trans around me. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't f don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to get. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Why wouldn't you walk by the river to begin with? Aw, plans to have kids gets waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Hmm. I mean, like, I know this game. My choices don't ultimately matter, really. Like, it just changes the words in the story, but, like, what ultimately ends up happening. So, yeah. Agree? It's just, hmm. Me, personally, I don't think I could move there. But, I'll agree. You said so. I'll listen to the people. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder here three times each semester. LDR? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Julia sent home from Yale and paid leave after having an episode. She lost lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had she didn't remember that she happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Fancy tech. Okay. And long oh, long distance relationship. I should know that. I'm in one. <laughs> Uh, she was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk some, talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine to try to forget about it. Both sound nice. I feel like both would happen at the same time, but I'll do this one. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Mac and wine. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, how do I? How do I? No, I don't want to. <laughs> I really hope that doesn't like get taken down for duty. <laughs> okay. That was a naked guy <laughs> in my journal. It was the, the sexy drawing of me. Yikes. <laughs> You're doing dishes? Nice. Oh, jeez. That was not, not, not nice. <laughs> okay. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on per permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a do- 
you would dope and your unborn children little idiots other days you you get a stranger she pulls you into bed to make love after five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door <laughs> awkward you tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in australia to visit her for a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day she gets worse this is sad i don't like it apparently this is like a really moving story like really good you spend your days following julia around the house you count the seconds between two weekly visits from daniel the nurse he suggests that julia could live somewhere else somewhere with 24 hour care a home it sits with you for a couple of months you decide to move to her full-time care facility you're determined to make her to take care of her by yourself i feel like he would he would do this one take care of her by herself until he until he can't i guess can i go back is this where i came from oh yeah okay i wanted to look more at that campsite i was at but I panicked when I saw the naked drawing. 1988. Yeah, I know. This is nice. Oh, wow! Hello! You are beautiful! Nice. It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. Fire bushes. Um, when she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours. Drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then, too. You start going out after you put her to bed. First time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door, or you trust that she sleeps like a rock. I would want to trap her in, you know? You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point one and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide hide it, but she but uh, but you tell your sister in law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia's coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad for the in the paper for a job. Did they ever get married? Or were they just engaged? I take the job. I don't think it really specified. But like, that's so sad. Yay. Okay. That's a long time to, like, just stay engaged. Oh well. They do then. It's whatever. Ah, an outhouse. Nice. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Ah, because of the dementia. Makes sense. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it was early onset. But when they decided that, she was 41. Turn on the power. Oops. Nice. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. Hold left shift. You have to hit the right. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? <gasps> Yeah. Hi, Dad. <laughs> I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? 
I guess that's mom. That's a great idea. The whole Go fam. Ahead. You're just Look, on dad's just account. Hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. Do I need to turn them up? I don't know if you guys can hear the audio like very well. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Subtitles? Okay, no, Do I have subtitles? Cool. <laughs> okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids by the sound of your voice at least 15 years ago. Sup, Spencer? You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, Sorry, family. I didn't know there were bad words, family. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> the fucked up. I'm glad my family missed that, Ethan. There was a not so nice drawing. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah. Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. <laughs> There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. You use this to spot. <laughs> you guessed it. Fine. What the fuck? Can I? Let's see. Mm, yeah, I can't turn bad language off. Sorry, family. You're gonna have to deal with it with me. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. Um, you uh, you use this to. Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out yeah. Facing <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West. Which way is west? Are those fucking fireworks? Huh. And to use compass. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there Nothing. right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Uh, Go down there and set him straight. Okay. Like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Keep going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. Do I need to grab a rope? One in the supply box on the way. Okay. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually nice. that for all of them. And to read map. <sighs> oh. Oh. I need a reply. Too late. Hmm. This map doesn't help me. I can't tell where I'm at. Okay. There's a lookout. Um. Should just be that way. I don't know. Can't launch fireworks if they're in jail for indecent exposure. Oh! Is this- I'm confused. Is that where I'm supposed to go? 
probably. Maybe. Am I going the wrong way? I know it's a map. I took a class on mapping. I'm just wondering... Oh, 306. Oh, I'm heading the right way. We're good, we're good. I figured it out. Cool. I'll just need the cash box. No step on the snake. Wow! Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Penny. <laughs> Appreciate it. Is this the cash box? Yeah? Yes. Can hear the fireworks. What dum dums. One. Two. Three. Four. Nice. Copy information. Up updated. Note. Q to read. Ron, hey man. A uh, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking into the park, but let's get it when I'm back. How do I draw? I want the pine cone. I'll take the granola bar. Um, can I just like put it away? Guess not. I can eat it. Might as well. <laughs> I know, really bad security. Okay. Where are they setting off the fireworks? Are they still up this way from me? I don't know. The lake. Are you sure? The lake is really far. Oh! There's the medicine wheel. That's funny. This is not at all the bighorns. I mean, it's set in Wyoming, but. I can run. This vista is incredible. Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. And there's a canyon and then the rest of, well, everything. You should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it. Okay, free summer. subscription. Yes. I do I do know that you're Spence. <laughs> um I don't give you a four wheeler. I don't know. That would be very convenient. You little turds. What do you think you're doing? Ah, there they are. It's steep. I can't go down, it can I? Oh. Touch the rope. Nice bar. Pretty sure I fall. It's probably what's gonna happen. Duh! Ah. Knew it. I'm an old man. Slide down like a boss. I would. Oh. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. They're over here, yeah? I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. 
Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. I am. Nice. Ah. My middle name is Danger. Um. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't <laughs> take into account just plain stupid, does it? their clothes that's funny oh no i really hope i don't see anyone naked. uh we can't hear you always just so you know um just a mom and dad's house okay it's probably just the internet if everybody else can hear me well mm. them in the lake naked skinny dipping yeah is that a guy over there oh, can't turn it off cheats they are drunk it was expensive. fucking cool it with the fireworks please just put it down we won't light anymore i know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here okay how because they're hiding in the bushes spying on us give him a break <laughs> I don't want to stare. Can I talk to them? What do I do? Do I swim out to them? No? What do I do? Ah! Did I miss something? Where am I? Oh, I'm at the lake already. What am I supposed to do? Shoot them? I don't have a gun. I left all your stuff back there. There we go. What? You were messing with our packs? What? Gross. No, I was I didn't What the hell were you looking for? <laughs> no, no. Ew. Can we just get out of here? Wait, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Did I say that we're at Jenny Lake? Jonesy Lake. That's funny. They're so where'd they go? Find a way back to the two forks lookout. Hey, that go okay? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going Smuggler down. fire, let them burn. Mm. I went the wrong way, I think. It's fine. Oops. I guess this way works, because I can't really go back the way I came. Yeah, if I just go along the river, I can come out right over there. Hopefully. Nice. Hopefully I'll get more well acquainted with controls and stuff and know what I actually need to do. Um, gonna be walking out in the Wyoming woods at night. How nice. Um, yeah, there's my tower. Is there a fire right here? Or what is that? So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <sighs> I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. 
and you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah. Um, climb up? Yeah. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Can I climb up anyway, here? No, let not. me know when you get back to your lookout. Okay, oh, lovely. This will be fun. Nearby storm. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, it should be... I didn't really realize this is a canyon that I'll be walking into, but that's okay. Um, sprint for a bear to then. <laughs> mm, yeah, I can go up right here, I believe. 308. I don't have the thing for that. What's in this cave down here? <laughs> in Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Hello! <laughs> this cave is gated off. It's to stop oh, are they all? One, two, three, four? From the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, I'll go Debbie check says it. she lost them like three years ago, so... <laughs> Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. It would be really nice to pick that back up. I'll try one, two, three, it four again. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout mm. in there. Mm. Uh, another lookout? They go in. Ah, uh, you're right, you're right. Out. They never come out. I'll take a flashlight. That doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's cool. Abby, what kind of deer does this belong to? <laughs> I like how I just chuck things. It's kind of funny. F to toggle flashlight. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Climb. Why do? <laughs> she does seem fun. Better not. Oh. There's some guy out here. Some guy? I don't like that. Is he, you? Is he doing anything else? I I don't think so. Do I go up this way? There's, there's something I, something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? <laughs> it's outside. Come on. The whole thing, and people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Mm. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> Why didn't I say hello? Jump. <laughs> Ugh. I don't like that, though. Say it there maniacally. I'd rather not. I agree. I would also rather not. Should I go over here? Is he gonna kill me? Is he gonna push me down? I figure not, but still. Where the heck in heck did he go? Nice. I almost let go of space and I thought I was gonna fall. <laughs> Where's my watchtower? Oh, okay. Back I go, I guess. Climby, climby. It seems dangerous though. Bigfoot, I'll be. <laughs> it would be. I don't know, I have a ring on. Maybe we did get married. <laughs> oh, it scared me. I thought I was gonna fall backwards. <laughs> 
I run? Uh... Oh, back up I go. Why is my typewriter on the ground? What the heck? Lauren and Kaylee say hi. Hello. How's it going? Oh no. Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh, there we Someone go. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. What else can I report? I'm trying to open. What do I do? Okay, thanks. Do you have Spooky. any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. I don't him. think this is mine. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. <sighs> okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. I wonder where Not this much, is, like, but at least if anything place. else happens, we can refer to it. And God, that's why we're here. Comes up. Thanks. Like, I wonder if it's, like, I supposed to be the bear to tooth? Out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of time <laughs> and a gun was okay. kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Jeez. My first day was really bad. Forest outside of Yellowstone. Oh, from the wiki? Okay. Yeah, so like... That makes sense. Oh. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing Pumpkin. out, and that's not working either. Flamethrower? There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? Huh. It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status mm. of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can it's try to get a hold of the fire tower. Bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do That's that. Funny. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. <sighs> it's Henry. <laughs> what? You don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. <laughs> but thanks Fire for watch. Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, let's look at our map. So, yeah, there's the cave. And heading north from that. Ah, bear tooth. Okay. I just think it's so funny that the medicine wheel's right here. That's not where it is. They tried. Let's go out. Or home. Probably gets cold in there. Nice. Let's not fire make though. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I'll hop over. That glitched. 
Can I use the bathroom? I hope I can. That'd be funny. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. <laughs> and uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. <laughs> Why is there baseball in here? That's funny. Nice. Bear to me. Yeah, it was this way. Correct. Can I put the sign back? Big drop. Wait, what? We've already seen one? It's like... Three seashells? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, this is fun though. I like the the way that we have like a map and everything. Just go along with it. I had a thing come up. Report fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Went to the outhouse and softball. Oh. Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? <laughs> well, we, uh, we walked out of the shelter and there was some graffiti on a trash can and it said, Dicko Mayhem. And um, he walked over and peed all over it and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? What? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? Huh. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute, and, um, sorry, but, but you said we? You, you owned him with someone? <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife, or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping mm -hmm. isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. North of the canyon? Okay. So, continue left, yeah, I'd assume. Yeah, there's power lines over there, so we'll do that. Dying wife. Um, okay. Ah, my headset is resting like right off the top of my, my hat and it hurts. It's like digging into my head, but I fixed it. We're good now. Hopefully I'm still going the right way. I had something pop up. Oh. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it.
So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just <laughs> seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. What's this? <laughs> uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters in your barrel. <laughs> I mean, uh, nice. I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Cool. I already know it's damaged, but... Oh well. I feel like there's just so many directions I can go, which is, like, nice. But at the same time, I get stressed out because I'm like, I'm going the wrong way. And, like, honestly, it's, it's okay. I heard noises. It's gonna be okay no matter where I go. Let's open this cash box. Maybe. If I can get up there. I'm gonna have to get at it from a different angle, I think. Uh, let's see. I hear noises and I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. <laughs> These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, here it is. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Woohoo. Cannot. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found nice. it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. The moment you said you found their trash, <sighs> these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. Is that my lookout? Want I want you to go find I think them. it is. And then what? Find the teams. I haven't thought that far ahead. <laughs> That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. <laughs> well, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. How can they drink that much beer in this so little time? I want time? you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Okay, uh, to catch you up, so far, my first day, we saw someone shooting off fireworks, so I went to go investigate, and there were two girls there, and I basically told them to knock it off and so in return they went and cut this wire um but also when I was after I okay so I walked to where they were um but I couldn't go back the way I came because my rope broke when I was heading down and then on the way back up we saw a random man shining his light on me um yeah allegedly cut the wire and so like these girls they were drunk when i found them and so now um yeah when i got back to my place it was all like ransacked somebody went like vandalized all of it threw my typewriter out the window and basically just went to the second day from there and you've been here for like all of that so far so now we're just gonna go look for them something that would make a teenager I'll find him. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. 
Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they so obviously maybe go can't this have way? gone far. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way or not. True. Meh. Probably didn't then. So, we'll head back down this way. I mean, there's no sign anywhere, so if they continued on this way, maybe we'll find something. Um, I guess I could go over there. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. <laughs> well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. Gotta think like a teen, I was stupid. thinking you should probably head back to where you saw him last. Do that. What is this? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. <laughs> I don't have a rope. Wait, yeah I do. No I don't. Uh, could you drop on the other cache when you get to that area? Here, let's see if there's another cache around me. There's one down. Yeah, I probably could have gone and done that, but I did not. That would have been a good idea. Do I have to go back? Yeah, because there's a cache right there. Is there any other way I can get down to it? I totally could. This is bull crap. <laughs> Sad. Mystery man's pack? Maybe. I don't think it let me open it though. Oh. You smart. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That Perfect. pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. Ooh. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. See to use the Thank you, camera. Brian Goodwin. Nice. Wait, wait, who? The bag <laughs> had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. <laughs> he was a lookout? <laughs> oh, you know, to do that. Guess. He was stationed in two forks. Your lookout with his dad Ned three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here. Mm, no. <laughs> you know I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned, and um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. <laughs> Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. Oh, I didn't do that last time. I don't know, time. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get I bored. Should've. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that. Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for lookouts. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock? Having himself in that hammock. <laughs> Sorry to think the Forest Service was only fixed the deranged and perverted. Except for us. Of course we're the creme de la creme. Uh, let's toast to Deb at the spot. Cool. Fossilized claw. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Ned Flanders. Oh, really? 
who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. <laughs> it's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a top <laughs> That's of cursed. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to <laughs> the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. I'll Keep hike wherever I want. Park. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Interesting. Burned trees. I heard something. Run. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's <laughs> 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found Big out? Pork. <sighs> Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Nice. Keeps wanting me to use the, the camera. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Uh. Excuse me, flapjack? Flapjack? You know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. <laughs> Oops. Hey. Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks, that helps. West. I am heading west. Perfect. Jump. Up for fire. It is hot in my room. My heater is going off. Music. Um, I'm going to. We know the camera doesn't matter just for taking pretty pictures. Oh, good to know. I will be right back. I'm gonna go turn my heat off my house. So give me one second. Okay, I have returned. So good, Creechy did go live. Perfect. I mean, I guess I can take pretty pictures. Nice. Thought that tree was a person standing up right there. 
It was not. Uh, we were going to bounce. Lauren and Kaylee have a Zoom class. Okay, that's fine. Have fun. Nerds. <laughs> that's mean, Ethan. Be nice to my friends. But thanks for joining for a bit. I appreciate it. bar mm, the birthplace of modern romance <laughs> i stumbled over and told her she was pretty and that was it oh you were brave i was drunk <laughs> went the wrong way there we go let's see where'd it go Oh, it's over there. <laughs> it's like, no way. Um, let's see. Got stuck on the rocks. Let's see if I can find a way up and over. Hmm. This way? Nope. I keep getting things that come up, but I miss them. Unless there's a way over here. Nope. Oh, this works. Like, I know that I could easily climb up over these ledges, but for some reason the game's like, Oh no, you can't. That's too difficult. It's not. <laughs> I could do it. I'm... Let's see. Um... Campfire smoke over there? Okay. I guess I'll have to go down here. It's a new fat man. Uh, okay, Firewatch, where is my favorite person? Delilah. Yes. But welcome, Chris. How's it going? Delilah should be back soon. Once something eventful happens, I'll talk to her. <laughs> Good, I'm glad it's going well. Woohoo. Can I talk to her? No. I have nothing interesting to say, apparently. And neither does she. I'm good. I'm just chilling. Yeah, I was really excited to get this game. Been super pumped for it. Is it up there? Where? Where is it? Oh, here's a cache. What are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Are you going to go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right now, One, I'm trying to two, hunt down some vandals, and I don't three, even know what I'm going to do when four. I find them. <laughs> I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her Mitch parents, Michaels. I uh, think they always thought Jonesy she could Lake. do better. And that I could have done a better nice. job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. Um, I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let this is all that's in here. Just pine cones. You love. I'll think about it. Nice. Am I still heading the right way? I think I am. I just don't see the smoke. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's Yay. where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I knew that. I didn't. But I knew yeah, that. They share their water as a colony Dumb. that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? <laughs> also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. 
Perfect. I don't see the smoke at all. That's fine. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. More beer cans. Lovely. Oh, I can report it. Did I not? Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. What a dum dum. I'm always like two steps behind them. Rip. Game is saving. That means something important is happening. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear they must have drank. Let me stomp it out. A beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Can I stomp out more? There we go. Stomp it all out. No fires here. How many times can I stomp this out? <laughs> That's probably good, right? Do you think they're in here? The tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Jeez. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did huh. not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah. Good thinking. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Lovely. Um? Which way? I don't know where to go now. Find the source of the smoke. I did. Can I stomp it out more? <laughs> I don't think I'm helping much. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. How'd they, like, bring those in? Only you can prevent forest fires. Um... What am I doing? I'm trying to find them. Well, yeah, I know they carried them, but there's so many. I don't think I can go up that way. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore. Oh, there's a note. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Um, Let me know what it says. Oh, I... We're happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police and whatever and tell them about how you created us on us at the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gr Oh! Being jerk over some fireworks. Okay. And then I can... Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Oops. They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well... Did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. <laughs> then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Fuck. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right. It's just it's weird what happened out here. Oh, weird those are my sheets. In the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's only been two days. Day three. Bed. Find board scissors, hatch window. I can do that. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. 
Well, I get confused <laughs> for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Musk. <laughs> hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Okay. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. <laughs> it's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting <laughs> scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? <laughs> Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak <laughs> of high society. Mm, good to know, Dale, yes. <laughs> now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. Go to look to All right, perfect. Oh, I do have a beard. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is that okay? I just throw it. Uh, don't, nice. <laughs> don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Tired. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. True. Delilah is amazing. Getting old. I well, dig her. Some people might see distinguished. Maps. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> you get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. <laughs> What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Nice. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. <laughs> I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no yeah. padding. I got a <laughs> splinter in my thigh this morning. Aw. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Birds of Wyoming. Day nine. I ship it. If she wasn't married already, well, she do. She wouldn't know. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Don't listen to that mentality. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. Hmm. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have hmm. seen them. It's a coincidence. How many pairs of girls go backpacking? Probably a lot. Yeah, probably a lot. So, I guess you didn't get their names, then? Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really <laughs> don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Cool. Dang. That's unfortunate. Got a crazy man out in the woods. Henry. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Oops. What do you want? Hi, 
way, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. <laughs> Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm hmm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hmm. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Hmm. The subtitles I deemed them. Okay. Henry didn't seem happy. No. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. Mm -hmm. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Mm -hmm. Isn't life miserably unfair? <laughs> anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Nice. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. It's too many prunes. Job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> what did I just look at? What so, did it do? Like, two I don't know. weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought been here? maybe you were having a nice conversation and. I'd just be spoiling it. Um, I hope you're Chris. doing okay. You know, when it comes to her. Uh. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. Yeah, so, I have to go down this way, I think. Before I took this job, I, Can I? No. I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible. I don't caring, think I can. Sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. <laughs> Dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School. In Lander. I was obsessed with it. Yes. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz hmm. was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. I pressed space bar. <sighs> then, um... Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, hmm. I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like Dream. that. Dream. Oh, soul. okay. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and hmm. told my sister he fucked our neighbor. <laughs> I've just lied about it for hmm. over ten years. And, Very interesting. Uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. Nice. We both fucked up. Apparently, I don't know how to answer that, because it doesn't give me an option. Oh, yes, why am I named Drop Time? I know. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's just like dropping all the names of the big places. Two, three, four. That's nice that all of them are one, two, three, four. Um. Oh. I was supposed to just pick them up and bring them? Or no? Do I just pick mine? Just mine? Okay. I know I'm two forks, but... Okay. Hmm. Oh. Alright, I got everything I need out of here. 
time to chow down. Don't be that person. Just yours, right? Who do you think I Well, am? I thought that I was supposed to take theirs too then. Or something. Wow, the days go by fast. <laughs> thought I could be nice. Meet her, bring her her stuff. Oh, yeah, got a front sure. row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Hmm. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Yeah, scary fire. Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you <laughs> sell that as a name? Do you really like that, huh? Yeah, I <laughs> said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. Cal probably asked me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Oh, yes, yes, you will. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot... Skinny dip. I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. Nice, nice. You'd like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. <laughs> well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay. I'm I was looking at it, at it. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, <laughs> you can just get lost. Yeah. So wholesome. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we Aww. could sit outside. We could talk. Ethan. <laughs> we could radios. We could... Um, you know. What? What could we do? Ooh. Getting saucy up in here? You're Nothing. going fishing without a license? It's one fish. <laughs> I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Nice. No, well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? They gonna run across the fire lines out to the east and um you know i think sometimes it riles up the wildlife huh problem bear fuck that i am of the opinion that they are all problems it's game and fish come on please Ugh. can't believe i'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit thank you henry <laughs> yeah 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 Actually, it's Game Fish and Parks. I know, because I'm working for them this summer. Oh. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the Fish and Game folks. See if there's a name or a fish credential game. or something. I can call That's it funny. in. What the... It's uh, catch and it's... release without a right. Holy shit. No, no, you have to have What's a license. You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. Oh. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry, I'm worried. You didn't 
I don't wanna. Any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. I'm scared. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. Well, get it if you haven't already. <laughs> I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Oh. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Yes. Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you? Yeah. Are you sure you saw what? What you saw, Henry. Uh, maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Oops. This just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our <laughs> words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel huh. fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Hmm. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows. Um, do you mind if I went down Wapiti Sharks and took place with me, but I don't know. Whoever did it, been there. Hmm. Two. Old sweater. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? <sighs> Apparently, a lot of following you around, taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. Hmm. There there's got to be a reason. Dave's the culprit. Also. I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than um, it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah. I don't know if I can okay. go around this way. Hike safe. No, I can't. Dang it. I gotta go back up. Big yikes. At least I still have rope. <laughs> Jeez. Psycho for Delilah. What if it's... What's his name? Javier. Don't do this. If you ever think about stacking rocks, don't do it. I don't need to kill anyone else. It's close to her. No. Disrupts nature. Don't do it. I can chop it down. Can I jump? I get an axe eventually, apparently. Was there an axe in that thing that I missed? I don't know. There's probably an axe around here. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow I, I don't think I can get past it uh, a fence yeah how big big it goes off in both directions acres but what the fuck is going on out here whatever hmm. it is someone doesn't want anyone to know about it 
sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but yeah. that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Hello, I'd imagine. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Are you saying why not about the... The rocks? It just, uh... People that go into nature to escape people and... Did that not work? Oh, I can't get in. Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. And then it's just like ruining a oh, rough shit. space to mark trails. I, I don't know how long I can yeah. dick around out here until someone notices. Well, God. like in uh, certain areas, it's okay to do so, I'd say. But like, uh, try and think of how to word this. If you're in a wilderness area, those are like the protected areas that are supposed to be like untouched and that's why like vehicles can't get in there and it's supposed to be just like preserved and just like pure nature i guess pure as you can get it i guess um but just like stacking rocks like that everywhere just for funsies it's just like i i don't like it like if i go out in nature to go into like a untouched area i wouldn't like to see signs of people being there you know but yeah, that, that's my explanation at least. I mean, what you said definitely makes sense too. Um, inject nature directly into your veins. But yeah, marking trails too. I think most people, if you're going into a place with like unmarked trails, first off, you shouldn't be going in places that don't have distinguished trails. Um, and you should always have a map on you <laughs> and know where you're going so you don't get lost. But if there are places that do have trails that are just like hard to find for right now or something like if they're damaged or um like weather eroded part of it or something then definitely i say go for it to mark the trail definitively so people won't get lost rant over sorry if you're an actual <laughs> firefighter you'd have that gate down in two shakes hey actually those guys doing the controlled burn they might be able to help where are they Beyond Ruby River, there's a Stop being responsible. They burned mine a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Poor girls. Because that's what I'm doing this summer. He has a gun, plenty of ammo, knife, and a rope. Nice. Yeah, ah. Oh. I wish I had... Max. I mean, that just means I'll probably be back here. That'll be pretty cool. <sighs> there we go. Going survival mode. Heck yeah. Woohoo. Um, south of Ruby River. Scout camp, that's so far. Uh, let's go back that way. Yeah. This will be fun. I'll go in an uncharted area. I'll we'll probably end up heading... Catch 307. Heck yeah, cuz why oh. I want this out though. So. <laughs> I heard a duck. I could see the duck. Okay. 
We're just gonna head south and do whatever. What was I supposed to... It wanted me to say something, but I don't know what it wanted. No! <laughs> I didn't mean to go back down. I'm sorry. Quack. Something came up, I just don't know what. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add <laughs> groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Dumb. Back down I go. I mean, it's not like I'm really screwed. I guess there's an obvious way around this. Oh well. That just would have been faster. A little more convenient. <laughs> so of all places to put a campfire, why directly in the middle of the trail? What do people think they are? This is nice. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Uh, which way is going to be faster? Well, if I go east, I can go down and get the, the cash. I could cross over right there. Yeah, I think east is where I want to go. Uh, maybe that's registered campsite. Didn't look like one to me, but maybe you're right. <laughs> hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know... Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. <laughs> Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint Sup, to Luke? my bosses, they are How never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Oh god, you're doing good. <sighs> It's just a I'm thought. good too. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Boss. Let's see how close I am. Okay. I know we don't know what's um. going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. Like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking yeah. about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Sweet. Just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. Am I supposed to go break. anywhere from here? Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> what was the point of that? Huh. Um. Okay. Oh, medicine bow's right over here. Can we take a detour to look at it? Well, I'm sure we might. We might look at it later. So. Oh well, we'll just go this way. See if we can get to that cache. 
packs. Am I facing the right way? Okay, I need to go... I do need to go that way. Yeah. I just felt like the fire wasn't over here. But I guess it is. Wheel. Too late, Ethan. I'm too far. It's cash box. Question mark. Am I near it? Oh, it's further down. Okay. If you find any cash, it's mine. All cash belongs to King Loop. There it is. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? <laughs> no, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Eh. That's okay. One. Ah! I said bow? What? I don't know what. Um. Reach you up to thing, just walk you across. Yeah. Um. No, I dropped it. I wanted to read it. <laughs> really wish the power is that. That could be issued. Radios didn't suck. Most of the time, I prefer to keep things pen and paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job, so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm quarter way through of Fives instead. Miss you. Interesting. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. <laughs> Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone Not gets fired. <laughs> uh, are you serious? <laughs> oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. <laughs> that was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa. Yeah. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. And that's weird, right? I mean, I can Pun come up with a bunch intended. of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a Pork sign up pond. for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Oh. <laughs> that's funny. Because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or you know, anywhere. <laughs> That's good. Hmm. Camp Arapaho. Camp Arapaho. You're there. Yeah. I am. It's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. Mm. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right? <laughs> the bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. I'm gonna what? Just kidding. Can I down here? Is that what he means? I don't want to walk in under here. I don't think that's what he means. Um, I don't get it. I'm getting more 
Where's the toast? Okay. I don't know where I'm supposed to go exactly. I mean, it's nice to just like look around too, but at the same time I want to do things right. I assume not this way because there's nowhere to go. Um, said I'd walk the ravine? So further down this way maybe? You know what say? If you guys know it, I'll just <laughs> tell me. Because <laughs> I have no clue. Maybe I should look at my freaking map. I don't like hearing noises. My firefighter's old school. Okay, yeah, I had to go that way. But... Uh, oh, I might have to go, like, directly up from this way? Maybe? Northwest at the Broken Bridge. So, like, up here. I think I was just like go up on this edge here. I just don't know where. Right here? Yeah. This looks like it. Maybe? Nope. Because it said I wanted to go to the high ground. Maybe I can, like, go back and listen to what she said. Is this something about a ravine? Which- oh, can I go down here? No, I cannot. I am stuck. Ah, tree! Oh, can I go up here and jump off, maybe? Doubt it, but that'd be pretty neat. Yeah, that's what it was. I had that thought a while ago, but I did not do it. Okay. I assume I can do something with this? No? I bet I'm gonna find them not here. Like, unalive. Good night, family. What time is it? <laughs> it's only eight o'clock. You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. <laughs> Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. He, he wasn't a scout or a weedle or whatever. <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove <laughs> hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's not that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? <laughs> yeah. I'd make a weedle do it. <laughs> I know how to tie one. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weedlows. For the past 35 years, yeah. There's the axe. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Nice. 
Hmm. Hey D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from. Um, uh, engrable. <laughs> Interesting. Of all places. Two four two six. That seems right for the area code. Robots Carson. Next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the thoroughfare region of the Show National Forest to cut a fire line south of the Ruby River. I'm writing on you, writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of wildlife risk assessment region. I told them that they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire lines are the most potent preventive measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks for all, always, as always, for your service. Cool. Their boss. Does it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Hmm. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. Yeah. <laughs> my mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Horned toads. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just... What, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a but My gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine Trolling back the towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and... Keep an eye out for anyone following you. Lovely. Let's see here. I know that I could probably finish this story in one day. But I also don't feel very good right now. So I don't know if I should continue. Or stop it there and finish it tomorrow. Beat them with an X. I don't know. I do you hey know it's mystery? I I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? Filming in a nutshell. No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. And I think I will end it there. <laughs> On a big cliffhanger. Possibly. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the oh, 50th I can't pause time it, today. So. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, I can't for stop sake, it. Answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, I went out for a little bit. Okay, save game. Quit to menu. Yes. Yeah, I still think I have quite a bit left. Let's see if it has a percentage. Oh. I should have hit, like, view games or something. 
I didn't mean to. Hello, sunshine. Uh, quick to menu. Yeah, I think I'll save the rest of it for tomorrow. I do have homework to do still. So. Sweet. Let me... Bet it doesn't. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. This has been fun. I, I'm looking forward to the rest of it. But for now, I'm gonna peace out. So yeah. Uh, let's see. I can probably stream around the same time tomorrow, or probably earlier. I might stream earlier in the day, just because I'll be really excited for it. But yeah. Cool. Catch you later. Bye, Wes. Bye, everybody.